from WFAA, this is Good Morning Texas. Well, flu and cold season is almost here, but did you know that you ever even think about battling these bugs with beneficial bacteria? Dr. Ross Pelton, a pharmacist, author, and a radio host, he knows the power of probiotics. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. Nice Welcome. To you. I'm glad that yeah. you're here. Well, you know, I think people would be surprised to know that bacteria that resides within our digestive tract really can have a positive effect when it comes to helping our immune system. You're right. Um, Many people, including a lot of health professionals, don't realize that a majority, over 70% of the cells in our immune system, are located in our intestinal tract. Hmm. So this is why it's so important to have a healthy digestive tract for optimal health. Remember, a strong immune system is your number one defense against a wide range of health problems, especially cold and flu, as we approach this winter cold and flu season. Well, that really is a surprise to learn that. And I'm just curious how it works. How did this bacteria within our digestive system, how can it positively sure. affect us? Um, Actually, the good bacteria support our immune system in multiple ways. I'll just name a couple. Um, number one, the good bacteria in our intestinal system actually generate and secrete compounds that are natural antibiotics. Mm. They're called bacteriocidins, and they kill bad bacteria in our intestinal tract. Mm -hmm. um, the good bacteria also secrete compounds called organic acids, and this creates a slightly acidic condition in the intestinal tract, which is the optimal environment for the health and proliferation and growth of the good bacteria, but it hinders and inhibits the growth of bad bacteria. Hmm. Well, you, as we mentioned in the beginning of the interview, I mean, you're a, you're a, you're a radio host, you're also an author, but you're, you're a pharmacist. I'm a pharmacist, that's and right. And so you have the opportunity to really analyze a lot of different options that exist for different types of products to help battle the flu. Right. What are some that you recommend? Well, um, uh, probiotics is at the top of my list, mm -hmm. and but first I'd like to take a few minutes to educate people about important issues when choosing a quality probiotic product. Okay. Um, quality is number one. Um, over and above the number of bacteria in the product, the quality of those bacteria is more important. Are they effective? Do they work? Oh. So here's some things to consider. Do the bacteria in the product survive the harsh acidity, the harsh acid environment in the stomach, so that they're still alive when they reach the small intestine? Mm -hmm. Also, can those bacteria in the probiotic adhere to the lining of the digestive system and stay in the body to mm -hmm. work rather than getting flushed out? Right. Third, is there good research on the probiotic that proves and documents that they, they work? And here's a really good point. Right. Live bacteria cultures are always going to be more effective than products that contain freeze-dried bacteria. And really? the majority of products on the market are freeze-dried. Okay. And fifth, and here's a point I stress, yogurt and acidophilus milk really do not contain therapeutic levels of probiotics, and a lot of those products contain sugar, which is also harmful to the immune system. Well, that's a lot of information. It's a lot of information for a consumer to kind of digest, if you will, right. and, and try to kind of keep, and keep, keep on track. So you have specific products that you recommend. Um, can you go over some of those? Right. Well, I recommend Dr. O'Hara's because it has a unique blend of 12 different strains of beneficial bacteria, mm -hmm. and they have a unique manufacturing process that also also produces supplemental uh, products that are called prebiotics. These are organic acids, amino acids, uh, vitamins and minerals mm -hmm. that really support and enhance and accelerate the activity and the benefits of the good bacteria in your digestive tract. So the five points that you went over today and all the different things that the consumer needs to consider, you can, th it's all being addressed. Dr. O'Hara really obtains all of those critical issues for a quality probiotic. And Dr. O'Hara's is beneficial in treating common intestinal complaints like diarrhea and gas and bloating. Mm -hmm. and and also more serious conditions like Crohn's disease, right. colitis, irritable bowel syndrome. But one important uh, point I want to stress, okay. over and above therapeutic applications, mm -hmm. I like to stress for adults and children, take one or two capsules of Dr. O'Hara's daily okay. to boost your immune system for support so that you can... Just to have that yeah, support. Bet, so right. that you have Especially better support in the flu season against cold coming up. and flu. Thank you right. so much for being sure. here. I appreciate it. And for more information or to find out where to buy Dr. O'Hara's probiotics, you can log on to Essential Formula Com. And for more information on Dr. Pelton's books or radio show, you can log on to AskDrRoss.com and also become Dr. O'Hara's friend on Facebook and post that you saw on Dr. Pelton on GMT and you will automatically be registered to win a copy of Boost Your Health with a Bacteria and a month's supply of Dr. O'Hara's probiotics. Now that's also lots of different stuff that you can find out on by checking out that website. But for now, I'm going to turn it over to you, Amy.